Good morning. What a handsome group out here. This is great. Thank you for coming out here today. My name is Mike Cunningham, and I'm the Chancellor of the National University System. So welcome to the Sanford Education and the National University System Headquarters. You know, this is a really special day for me personally and for the university system in general, and for society in general. You know, on September 19, 2014, uh, we met in this room and we had a very big charge and uh, a, a goal to reach from T. Denny Sanford, our wonderful benefactor. He said there's four things that he wants us to do. And the first thing was to take some programs, the Sanford Harmony program and the Sanford Inspire program that were developed at ASU and make it available to every student in every classroom across the country. Pretty bodacious goal. He then also said, I want you to develop a program called the Sanford Institute of Philanthropy. Develop a program that teaches fundraising skills to nonprofit organizations. It's a trillion and a half dollar industry. And then if we could raise it by 5% a year in giving, what an impact it will have across the world. And lastly, it was to take the Sanford College of Education, one of the largest colleges of education here at National University in the country, and make it one of the best colleges of education in the world. So pretty four, four big bodacious goals that we were challenged with on September 19, 2014. And we just finished the completion of this wonderful, wonderful classroom here at the Sanford Education Center. So we took that challenge on. And we went there and we said, well, how are we going to do that? We need the best talent we can get. We need to develop these programs to make them innovative, have them a technology solution, and also have boots on the ground going around the country and being advocates for the programs. And I am so happy to tell you that as of today, we have succeeded on all of those goals and we continue to grow those goals every single day. Thanks to you. Our Sanford Harmony program at National University System is a social emotional learning program that caters to pre-K through sixth grade students. And it teaches them inclusion, it teaches students about to celebrate their differences, genders to come together and, and to think as one and actually to relate with each other. And I'm so excited to tell you that today we have introduced this program to more than 600,000 students and by the end of the year, Scott Page, the director of the program, has promised us we'll, we'll have affected a million students across the country. Our Sanford Inspire program, which actually is the essence of teaching, uh, teaches teachers inspirational techniques to be more effective in the classroom. And this is both for in-service teachers and pre-service teachers. And it's also to connect with other universities, schools of education around the country, and to help them redefine their curriculum so it's cutting edge and it's based on making what's effective for students and inspiring students to create great things. Well, I'll tell you, I'm very happy to let you know that over 25,000 teachers have accessed our 30 modules on teacher education inspirational teaching. So, and Jamie Manberg, the director of that program, promises me we're gonna double that every year from now on. And I'm very proud to talk about the Sanford Institute of Philanthropy. You know, we developed these programs, we wrote the first textbook on fundraising for nonprofit organizations, the Sanford Way, Cause Selling the Sanford Way. So that took a while to do, and then we built a series of 30 modules on effective fundraising skills from relationship building to working with the donor and to having change effect in your communities and be in and of the communities in which you serve. I'm happy to announce that over 15,000 fundraisers have been trained for different organizations, and Lena Rodriguez, the uh, director of that program, promises me we're gonna double that every year, so thank you. And Judy Mantle, our wonderful dean of the Sanford College of Education, really embraced the principles behind the uh, INSPIRE program and actually incorporated it with her wonderful staff and team of faculty uh, here at National University and has actually embedded it into our curriculum. So much so that we just uh, developed a brand new Masters in Teaching Excellence program. And I will tell you, because of that new curriculum, the demand has been so high from teachers and uh, potential teachers across the nation that we're up over 10% year over year in, in our students and the students in class for our teachers, Sanford College of Education. Judy, thank you.
So as you can see, I am overjoyed about this opportunity and the opportunity that T. Denny Sanford has given us to actually uh, hold the mantle, if you will, on all these programs in our College of Education. Denny, you, your support has been so wonderful for us. You know, Denny started out with a million dollar gift for this building right here uh, to build this wonderful classroom. And then along the way, he said, you know what, you have to meet some milestones. And we joke because Denny always adds three zeros to all our milestones. <laughs> And he really pushes four zeros now. <laughs> and uh, many times you think about the goals that Denny sets in collaboration with our directors uh, are almost impossible to reach. But I'll tell you, by the efforts of everyone in this room and the efforts of our wonderful Sanford ambassadors that are around the country, our wonderful faculty and staff, our wonderful uh, public relations group and our marketing group, we've done a, such a great job in reaching these goals and continue to push that envelope. Uh, I'd also like to thank our wonderful board members that are here with us today. So Tom Tabuzis, Carlos Rodriguez, thank you very much. <laughs> you know, you might imagine it's uh, when, I, when I approached the board with this concept, there's this wonderful uh, philanthropist called T. Denny Sanford, and he wants to change the world, and he wants to use us as a vehicle for that change. And this was something that was never done at National University before. And they didn't hesitate for one second. They said, we'll not only support you in this initiative, but we'll donate $10 million from our endowment to make sure that it has a chance for success. So to date, I'm happy to announce that with today's $28 million wonderful gift from T. Denny Sanford, we've raised $70 million towards the effort, and we'll continue to uh, promote all these programs until they're every single school in the, in the country. So Denny, thank you very much. So it is my great pleasure to introduce the president of National University, uh, who's made effective change in the little short, little bit over a year that he's been here, uh, has made revolutionary change here at National University. And he's one of the reasons that our Sanford College of Education is actually uh, raising up in the rankings and making sure that the best college of education we possibly can be. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Dr. David Andrews. Well, what do you say on a day like today? Uh, you know, this is a, a, an incredible uh, opportunity for the National University System and for National University. And Denny, thank you so much uh, for this contribution. And not just the contribution, but for your ongoing support and your vision. You know, all of us that uh, know you know that you think big. Um, and uh, the chancellor showed you showed some examples of the numbers uh, behind the scale of what you're, uh, of how you're impacting higher education and the K-12 space uh, simultaneously. And by the way, not many people try to impact both the K-12 space and higher education space. Uh, certainly not at this level. So it's the big thinking uh, that's just as valuable to us as the individual, the contributions, the financial contributions, um, and these individual benchmarks that you put before us with the extra zeros uh, to push us to, to greater heights. Uh, so I appreciate all of that. But I also appreciate the, the vision of, of these things being integrated. These are not separate activities. You know, I, as, I, as I look at your work and, and what inspires you, you know, the, the inspirational aspect uh, of the focus, uh, the inspire notion with teachers, uh, inspiring us to move forward. So inspiration is a, a major kind of theme in the integration of this work. But I think even more importantly is the relationship part. You know, the, the focus on harmony and relationships is not just a K-12 focus, working with kindergarten students and first graders and second graders and elementary school students. The relationship-based part of your, your commitment and your vision is really something that is driving all of us to be better. Because in the end, it is about those relationships and our ability to nurture those relationships towards the greater that allows us to make a contribution across uh, the university, across the system, and across the United States. So as we grow, like, um, you know, like, like flowering uh, blooms this, this spring. I understand it was, it was an anomaly in, in uh, San Diego. But as we see that growth across the country, you know, I, I want us to, rem to remember that it started with some relationships 
um, that we have here and it's grown into relationships that are all over the country. So that relationship-based focus. In fact, you've inspired a whole group of researchers to talk about relationship-based interventions. Uh, those grew ex explicitly out of your work with Sanford Harmony and, and Arizona State and, and now they are proclaiming a whole field of relationship-based interventions uh, and you were uh, the inspiration behind that. So thank you very much. We're going to do great things here. I'll close by saying, you know, I spend a, a little time at um, the number one ranked uh, school of education in the country at Johns Hopkins University prior to coming here. I can proudly say that over the past year in observing the work that we're doing in the K-12 space uh, and here in the Sanford College of Education, that we are just as good if not better. Uh, and one day in the near future, we will get the recognition we deserve for being a great college of education, one of the best in the United States. And that is largely due to your support and contributions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Andrews. Uh, I must tell you that uh, Dr. Andrews is, is very uh, humble uh, that he went to Johns Hopkins around seven years ago and uh, they weren't ranked in the top 10. And then through his good works and working with his faculty and staff, he became the number one, uh, Johns Hopkins number one school of education in the country. So we are so proud and happy to have you here. For those of you in the room that may not know what the National University System is, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the system. Uh, the system comprises of National University, which was the founding uh, institution of the National University System. We have John F. Kennedy University, which we have the wonderful president, Deborah Bean here. Deborah. And they're based in the East Bay, and they, they specialize in mostly graduate programs and renowned programs in psychology. We have a Psych D program there. We have marriage and family therapy programs there. And I think of all the universities, JFK is in and of the community more than anyone else. I mean, they are really in the ethos and the fabric of the community there and giving back. We run five different counseling centers there in the East Bay and give services to wonderful, needy uh, families and individuals in the East Bay area. So thank you for your good work, Stephanie. We have Randy Frisch here, who's a, uh, a very much known entity here in San Diego, but he's the president of City University of Seattle. Hello, Randy. And uh, City University of Seattle is really a, a wonderful institution in Washington State that focuses mainly on uh, graduate studies for education and business. We have a doctorate of business administration there. We have a uh, education degree there, a doctorate of education. Uh, by the way, both of those programs are totally online. So any of you in the audience right now that would like to access and get your, your doctorate. Uh, but one of the common denominators between JFK, City, and National is that we all have Sanford Institutes of Philanthropy. So we are in and of the community. We're helping nonprofits raise more money for their communities and to grow and be part of society and actually open up doors and help solve cures for many, many different diseases. So thank you very much for that. Uh, we also have our pre-college programs here at National University. We service over 5,000 pre-college students, both in charter schools and virtual high schools. We're one of the largest providers of AP courses in the country, online AP courses. Uh, we also have West Med College that focuses on vocational nursing, medical assisting, and also paramedic and EMT. One of the key things that we like to celebrate about this um, system, the National University system, is creating academic pathways amongst all our facilities so that faculty, students, and staff have the ability or the fungibility to move within the institutions and take advantage of the expertise across the different system. And I think one of, the, one of the announcements that I'd like to make today is stay tuned because we're going to continue to grow the system across the country. So national university system will truly be a national university system. So there's a lot of hard work, a lot of wood to chop in the future, uh, but I am sure based on a lot of the Sanford programs that we're talking about today and the wonderful curriculum faculty and staff that we have at the national university system and the support of our board, uh, we will reach those goals also. So that's just a little bit about the system. So right now, uh, I'd like to have our wonderful benefactor, T. Denny Sanford, come on up and join me up at the podium, please. Does that say a few words? Mike, words can't express the joy that I'm, I'm 
realizing today with, with the progress that we've made in a short period of time, just a few years, I was left with a single, single major problem. Uh, I had some great research done on these programs over at Arizona State University, one of the largest universities in the, in the country, and the work that they did was absolutely wonderful. I said, well now, how are we gonna distribute it? Well, it's on our website. Excuse me, it didn't work. <laughs> that did not work. I, and so Mike heard about the program through my partner, Malin Burnham, up the street at the uh, Sanford Burnham Organization in medical, medical Research. He said, tell me about the, these programs. And we put the wheels in motion and we're moving forward in a very, very fast way. I couldn't be more pleased. Mike actually saved the, the day for me. Uh, after a, a lot of work, uh, those research projects were eight years. In, in the making to, to get them to, a, and they're wonderful programs. I mean, when we talk to these teachers, particularly on the Harmony program, I mean, they just rave. Uh, they're trying, trying to talk uh, all other teachers that they know in a, in a incorporating it into their curriculum. So it, the whole program works, and I'm, the people here at National University, the entire team, has been so supportive in making it happen. So I really, really want to thank you all. Uh, I'm not sure about this pickpocket over here. <laughs> uh, man, uh, this, this guy, he reaches in there. Bum, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, I couldn't be more proud to have National University as, as the sponsoring organization for these programs. So thank you, Mike. Thank you, Danny. Mm -hmm. okay. thank you so much. Now this is the moment we've been waiting for. On behalf of the National University System, I proudly and gladly accept this wonderful <laughs> gift. <Danny. laughs>